Hi class. Today we are going to learn what is process management and uh, how we will find some running processes and uh, how we will kill that process. Okay. So first of all, you need to be a root user for that. You have to type sudo i. Uh, let's check it out. Which user I mean? Type who I am I presenter. I mean the root user, right? Let's clear the screen. So first of all, uh, create some processes. How we will create some process? Let's uh, vi to the file name hello press enter. Put in the background this command. So for that you need to type control z. When you type control z, your application or the running process is going to stop and it will put in background. So I am uh, putting the vi in background. Let's uh, open the another command. Type top. Top is the utility that shows you a PID number and your running processes. Now I'm also putting this in background. I have, I'm typing here Control Z or I'm pressing the buttons Control Z. Okay. Let's clear the screen. How you will find these processes is running or not? So for that you need to type jobs press enter now you can see this processes is stopped and it is in background if you want to see that command again then you have to type fg fg is for front ground then press enter now you can see our command is again working on type here quit let's clear the screen press enter now again I am typing here jobs press enter now you can see our top command is gone right now let's create another process top press enter put in the background clear the screen now you can see this command is stopped and it is in background so how we will not open that command now you can see this command is stopped in background if I want to kill that command without opening so for that you need that PID number so how we will find that PID number type here PS press enter this will show the PID and that command name so right now you can see my VIP ID is 100428 I am going to kill that command for that you need to type kill PID then PID number uh, type here 100428 press enter type here PS it's running again means we have to kill that command forcefully so type here kill hyphen 9 hyphen 9 it means forcefully and that PID number 1 Double zero four two eight. Press enter. Now you can see that command is killed. Let's clear the screen. Type here ps. Now there is no vi signs. Then type jobs. Okay. So first command is gone right now. Now only remaining is stop. Let's clear the screen. Again we have to type here ps. Press enter. If I need to kill that command, for that we need that PID. Now you already know that command is not going to kill directly. So for that I am doing here kill hyphen 9 that PID number 103 sorry 34 then 52 press enter. There is no such process is already going to kill. Type here PS. Now you can see here top ID is number. Let's go. I am going to kill that command. Now you can see when you type PS command, uh, the top PID number. You already know we can't kill that command directly. For that you have to type kill hyphen nine means forcefully we have to kill that command. Name as top. So what's the PID number? One zero two zero. 
sorry by mistake 102014 then click okay killed let's type here jobs press enter now uh, there is no running program in background type here mg there is no such a command or such a background process to come in uh, front ground let's clear the screen type here ps there is no command is running suro it means i am in the root user and bash means i am running in bash environment and PA, uh, ps command is close right now so this is how you can put the some running application in background and uh, how you will find that pid number and going to kill that pid so this is how you can put running processes in background and uh, find that PID number and uh, how you will kill that PID number so this is how you can find your process ID and uh, kill that process ID via kill command so this is how you can kill some commands or uh, some processes and uh, after you pressing ctrl z you can put your running process in background and uh, how you will find that type jobs and uh, you will get that uh, background process number and if you want that PID number you can type PID find process ID and uh, kill that command so this is how you can find some processes and uh, put in background and finding that PID number and going to kill that command